Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. I'm continuing the Blender to Unreal Basic Tutorial series. This is part 3. We'll be continuing with the crate that we created in the last um, video and we'll just be setting up some uh, new textures and a normal map and ambient occlusion map for it. So first things first, just split your area over here. Let's just change this one to the UV image editor. There we go. And you could just go into your edit mode and you see this is what we had before. Now you want to go into your object data plane over here and just click the plus to add a new UV map. I will call this my render map. And there we go. Then we're going to create a new image. We're going to call this one the diffuse 1024 by 1024. And now you notice everything got a little bit squished, so we would just have to set them up a little bit. Now you will notice on the side that every time that I move this that it seems my texture is moving a little bit off of place over there. Nothing to worry about at the current moment. I'll show you why just now. Also another thing to note that because we have six sides set up over here for the model that all of this is overlapping here. If I just select this one, you'll see what I mean. So there will be six sides underneath all of this UV map over here. Now, if you want to draw something on every side that looks different to set every side apart, then you would have to set up these UV maps into different locations over here. So that would just take a little bit longer. But as this is just a basic crate, I will not need to do that so I'm just going to leave it as is. Also note that I'm leaving this area empty as I'm not going to use it for anything specific. So um, as is, it, it's fine. So let's just go back to the textures tab over here. And there, here where it says mapping, change this to your original UV map. And then you'll notice that the model changed back to the way it looked before. Go to your renders tab. Go all the way to the bottom, select textures, take your margin and scale it down to 2. Now this is just the area that it draws outside of your UV map. So if you have a large margin and everything is tightly packed, it might bleed over onto another UV map and you don't want that. So there we go, everything seems to be okay, so I'm just going to click bake. If I go out of edit mode, you'll see here, there we go, everything is baked properly, the way that it looked before. So, just going to save that out as my diffuse map save. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, Blender does not save your images if you click File, Save here at the top and you save your model. So please remember just to save your images when you're working on them. So I'm going to go back to the textures tab. I'm going to just click the normal over here. You notice in the scale of one, the normal influence is pretty high. So I'm just going to do that 0 0.1. That looks okay. We're going to create a new texture. Call this the normal. Go into edit mode, just make sure that it's highlighted the normal. Go back to your renders tab, change that to normal, nothing else to change. So I'm just going to go straight to bake. And there we go, we're baking out a normal map for it based off of the texture information that we have. There 
There we go, done. And that looks pretty good. So just remember to save this out as your normal. And then one last one to do. We can just jump straight into it. New image, your ambient occlusion. Click OK. And render tab, bake ambient occlusion. Just make sure that it is on the right texture and click bake. Du -du -du. Now that's a pretty quick ambient occlusion baked out, so nothing too complex on this model. And just save that. Alright, that's all our textures baked out and everything, so we can go back to the object data here. I'm going to delete the original UV map, or just not delete, just select it there, and go to my material. I'm going to rename this material because this is now going to be our Crate 02 test. And some naming conventions I didn't mention before, just call this Mat for material. Because when I imported the previous model, I noticed that um, because my model and my material were called the same thing, it just added like an additional number at the end, which I didn't really like. All right. So I'm just going to get rid of this texture over here. I'm going to select a new one. Call this my diffuse. And then just select the one that we already baked out. There we go. It will use the the only UV that's currently available. But if you have the two UV maps still, if you didn't delete the previous one, just select the render one and then that should be fine. Let's make another one. This will be our normal. Just select it here from the menu. We don't want its influence to be color. So go down here where it says influence. Then select color, select geometry. We had it at 0 0.1 before, so let's just do that again. Looks okay. And the last will be the ambient occlusion map. Same thing, not color, it will be shading. There we go, everything is set up. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this as my second crate test. And this is ready to export into Unreal Engine 4. So, select the model, click export, FBX. I didn't change the settings, uh, save them, so it's just... Um, so every time I will show you guys what settings you would need to use. Negative Y is your forward. Only the mesh. Your smoothing would be edge smoothing. And then uncheck add leaf bones. Create two uh, tests should be fine. Export. All right, let's just go into Unreal. We go, we're going to click import. Create O2 test. Import materials and textures, yes. Doesn't give us any errors, but one thing to note is that it did not import the ambient occlusion. I don't really understand why that is. Maybe it's just uh, to do with Blender and Unreal reading the ambient occlusion differently on the material. So there we go. Import that. Just open your material for your crate quickly. Just move these properly over here. Drag the ambient occlusion inside. There we go. And just connect that. You can save that out. Close this. Should automatically apply to the crate. So I'll just drag the crate into the world next to our other one. Ooh. Here we go. I'm just going to click play. And there we go. The crate is set up. It looks a, a little bit better than the one next to it. This one is pretty flat shaded, very light in color. This one has got some depth, some detail, a little bit of shading on the sides. And the shadow just looks a little bit better falling down onto it. There we go. 
So that's how you get a basic normal map, ambient occlusion, and a better texture setup for Unreal Engine 4. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel. You can leave a comment down below um, or give us a like. And then um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.